let's get started create a new windows forms project targeting dotnet framework 2o and give it a name i'm calling it fiddler core sample here and once the project is created a form will show up add a list box control to the form now go to properties pane and set the controls doc property to fill so that the list box control will take up the entire area of the form now go to projects references add fiddler core to the projects references i already have fiddler core here because i have used it before so it shows up in my recently used assemblies list but in your case you may have to go to the folder into which you extracted your fiddler core dlls and choose and select the right uh, right dll if your application is targeting framework 2o you need to select uh, the fiddler core dll that targets 2o now it's time to wire up your forms load and closing events in the forms load event handler we wire up fiddler course events we are interested in in this example uh, i attach a handler to after session complete event of the fiddler course this event is fired for every http request when a response is received from the server the next step is to start the proxy itself this is done by making a call to the startup method the startup overload that we are using takes two arguments the first argument specifies the port number if you are not sure whether a certain port is already taken or not then pass 0 passing 0 will tell the fiddler to pick a free port automatically in the second argument we set the startup flags to default now it's time for us to close fiddler properly this is done in the forms closing event let's go to forms properties and attach a attach a handler to forms closing event in the closing event handler let's call shutdown method on fiddler if fiddler is not closed in this way then your system's http settings will continue to route all http requests through your proxy application even after you have closed it to prevent this from happening we need to call shutdown method when our main form is about to be closed now it's about the time we update our list box with the urls of the request being made to do that we need a delegate let's go and create a delegate type called update ui let's now go into after session complete event handler and populate the list box with urls by calling invoke method on the list box with an update ui delegate instance as its argument within our delegate instance we add urls to the items property of the list box at this point you might ask why we need to call invoke method pass it a delegate instance and update the list box update the list box inside the lambda that is because winforms require that all ui elements be updated on the same thread that created them but after session complete event handler is called from a non ui thread as fiddler core is a multi threaded library invoke method on list box control executes the update ui delegate instance on the ui thread and that will ensure ui updates are done on the ui thread let's now run the program and as it is running open up a browser and request for a web page in this case i am requesting yahoo's home page as you can see all http traffic is now routed via our proxy and captured by it. with this we have reached the end of the video thanks for watching